Okay, we're about to stop Dr. X once and for all. Let's go. Oh my god, is he gonna try to flood the city? That's not good. Well, there's a dam. Hmm, let's see. BF Skinny mentioned something about a way to divert the water away from the city. Maybe I should look around. Ah, uh ha! -huh. A switch! Come on, hurry up. Huh? Oh no! Huh? Well done, my young detective, but it is all for naught, for you shall not defeat the mighty Dr. X. <laughs> Come on. Give me the trophy! Give me all the trophy! I am the most powerful trophy in the world! Look at me! Look at me! I'm growing! I'm tall! I'm everything! You can't just leave him there to be blind to bits. Oh no, here comes the water. Oh, that's a lot of water. Hurry up. Yeah, water diverted. Cool. Since his mysterious disappearance, Dr. X hasn't been seen or heard from. Who knows where he may strike again? The doctor's ruthless henchmen return to their regular jobs as busboys once the octopus were removed from their heads. They plan on opening a sushi restaurant someday. The extrasensory octopus went on to graduate from Hoover University with teaching degrees. What do they teach? Marine biology, of course. Martin, the lab assistant, after a stint of community service, obtained his PhD from Hoover University. Opting for a less stressful occupation, he now works for a major fireworks manufacturer. Martin's uncle, the museum janitor, won the state lottery and is now a multi-millionaire. In other words, he's still cleaning up. After a falling out with the janitor, the broom went on a national tour ending with sold out performances at Carnegie Hall. He's sweeping the nation. Maggie Mead is still organizing her way through Boulder Canyon. What can I say? Some things never change. Jimmy doesn't like it when people talk about him. So let's move on. Bernie returned to the Hoover Daily News, where he won the Pulitzer Prize for his in-depth article on bovine beverages and the duality of man. B.F. Skinny became a talk show phenomenon, crossing the country to do show after show. Why the attraction? As he points out, why not? I'm a talking rat. Joe Hammett, fifth grade detective, received national attention and recognition for foiling Dr. X. But she didn't let it go to her head. She's finishing school, still fighting crime, and always on the trail of the elusive Dr. X. Well, that was interesting. Some ending. <laughs> that was good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. yeah. See you next time. Bye bye. Yeah. <sighs> that was fun, wasn't it, Charlie? Wow. For some reason, that last bomb was like really easy. I don't know how it just was. <laughs> it's supposed to be the hardest one, and yet it was the easiest. That's crazy. Yeah. Now it's, um... Ugh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah.
I guess we're all gonna get on with it. Oh, we're seeing some behind the scenes drawings. Yeah. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.